I see when I watch stuff, and I don't even watch it, I just hear it, Brian told me a few things about it, but the overall synopsis of the continuation and the story of Karate Kid, Karate, or Kathy, Kathy would be a, a name before it, but it seems like a plural name, it's just to say like, K-A, kinetic activity, plus here from yonder, Kathy, or Kathy. L-E-E-N, life expressing on top itself in nature. It's Kathleen or Kathy, okay, like karate, but is is the use of motion, force, and energy, but properly, and like what you're made from, but reoccurring and using it properly, like focusing karate. It's supposed to be like a kinetic activity reoccurring at plus expression. It's like coordination, but karate, even better. But, and of course, it's not the same word, and it means what it's spelled like. So just just look at the word and think about what karate looks like and is. It's a, rea- it's a kinetic action, like a lot of kicking and kinetics action reoccurring at plus expression. Yeah. So karate. And Kathy is a form of that same word through the letters. And she's in the knitting and stuff that is made from sitting and concentrating on a centered activity. It's not just a coincidence. It's, it's letters that propel the living being to do it. Now go even further. I'm her son, Daniel's son. In my real life, I've experienced the beginning of time and it showed me that I'm the chosen one. Now all these years later, when I ask God specifically today, I told my mom this morning, before I left, I asked God today for a sign. Because honestly, mom, it's hard for me to be in a world full of people who don't take me seriously. I have a harder time every day finding something that I want to live for. It's not that I want to die, but I don't want to live for anything because everything that I love doesn't care properly. And I'm not trying to put them down. I'm being honest. They don't care properly. They don't know how to care. They don't know how to really care about anything because they've been taught to praise fake idols. <laughs> and that's what God or our self meant. False idols. You love stuff that isn't even real over people. That's what that means. Not any specific thing. Not one person. Just loving things that aren't real over people. Fake activities. Acting. Fighting for a fake battle of somebody being superior. That's all fake. Now, with daniel son. Daniel versus Johnny. That's that's just an ironic thing that me when I was a kid and like Dan and Joe when we were together and you know we were tearing it up and not not really an ironic thing but at the same time there was a reason for it. It it went deeper than that because it's Miyagi-Do and Daniel's son versus just Johnny which is like jumping ongoing here now now yonder activity on top of itself in nature Johnny. Like it's so usually a lot of bad guys are Johnny or a lot of bad boys are Johnny, you know, and there's a reason for that. Like, hey, Johnny, other than that, they try to settle down and they go by John. Or Johnny makes them feel like a kid, so they go by John. And they grow up and they don't keep that Johnny rebellious attitude. That just happens. It's not, it's not just a coincidence. It's a real thing that happens through the letters and the vibrations, along with their names, along with where they're at, along with what they eat, along with the balance of food and sounds and activities and television programming they have, other information from people, it all works like that. The government's trying to figure it out. I can show it to you. They're trying to figure it out to manipulate you. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get you to listen to how it really is without distorting it too much from the message that I got from spirit. That's difficult because no one's paying attention to it being straightforward. Instead, I got to be like, hey guys, how can I think of another way to tell you the truth without distorting it? Without getting like amped up and being like, I don't even want to be around if people don't take me serious. This is seeming like forever. Three years in in human time since this happened seems like the most infinite life I have ever had. And when I say that, try to think about living like, I don't know, sometimes I live like 10 lives during the night of, of 90 years, 100 years, sometimes 600 years in a lifetime. Sometimes, and and I, I remember them. But then it would be like trying to sit down and tell somebody the whole thing in, in a conversation and it wouldn't be interesting to them. They'd be like, damn, okay. And they'd be like, you should write that down and make a story out of it. And I'm like, <laughs> it is a story that we wrote, all of us. And I'm just one of the characters and so are you and you're just not understanding it. So you're just looking at me like I'm a weirdo. But you're just another form of me doing the same exact thing. 
through your combinations of letters and all the new ones that you introduce to yourself. So your name isn't all you are, but that's a vibration from where you, you stand. And from that standing vibration, things come into you and go by you and whatever you put into yourself that shouldn't be there disagrees with you. And it makes you feel different ways. Now, it's not just words and letters. It's how those things make you feel physically because your physical matter goes back as an echo into your internal matter. And then your internal model fights back if it needs to with whatever defense system. Like if you're scared, it gives you whatever you need to be scared. Sometimes you'll sweat. Sometimes you'll get adrenaline. And if you're, you know, all sick, you get antibodies from your own body. You know, like that's how it works. So if you are deluded by the way you think about the world, the world dilutes you until you start feeling sick and then you believe you're sick and then over time you're told that your whole life is only a certain length of time and you believe it. You believe it into being. Everything. You've believed all of this into being by making letters and patterns and sounds and light by the beings that we are, that I am, and that you are. But when I say I am, I know it from a personal standpoint, from inside me and all around me. And I'm just trying to show it to you because you're part of it too. You just don't love it as much. And I know that for a fact because I would let you kill me to show you that I love you more than you. And that's a very weird thing to say, but I wouldn't want to. It's not something I'm trying to do to be a tough guy. I'd want you to do it politely. I'd want you to put me to sleep after I went to bed. Like put some kind of shoot me with something. I wouldn't be afraid of that. I would just do it because I would say, I love you. And if you think I'm in your way of your dream, of your fantasy world, please put me down. But I, I guarantee you that if you actually pay attention to me, I will save this world. That's, that's how courageous or stupid you may call me. But if you listen to me, you see I'm not stupid at all. I'm the guy. I'm the chosen Dan Chosen, the chosen one. And now, all these years later, after this happened to me, and it started happening, it's on season three or four, the doorway episodes three and four, so it's coincidental, but no. But at the same time, Chosen and Daniel joined together. Daniel and Chosen? Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. And karate? And Miyagi-Do? And just everything. Everything. All of it. Just, just look at it deep enough and look at the letters and words and really listen to them and look at what the letters mean. Think about D's and T's and D's being like, an, a D is half of an H as in like from this line extending out around to here. An H is between two lines and, and, and in the center. So if you put two D's back to back and could see both front and back, that would still be an H, but you wouldn't be able to do it because you have to have eyes in the back of your head. Take heed from your head because your head is just A as it is right here. You can't see everywhere. You can only see where you turn it. So that's why it's called head, you know? And that's why when you're the head of the class, you're in the front, like the apex. Or you're, you know, metaphorically or in, in mind, people think you're the head of the class. It's just, an, it's just a scenario we've all made up in letters and sound and vibration and light. Things that don't have the words for them to be explained. And some of the things that don't have the visuals to be explained. Now we're in them and living them. And they're living with us. And they want us to be good to them. And, and we're not. A lot of us aren't. And a lot of us aren't being good because we're letting other people be bad to them and not doing anything about it. Okay? Now really think of what I'm saying. But you can't go kill them. You can't go bad mouth them and tell them all the stuff. You just got to tell them what they're doing wrong. And, and hope the people around us start not reforming themselves into something better, shaping up positively for themselves and for us, not for, for, for society, for the real things that matter, for love, for humanity, for positive things, for meaningful life, not cheesy, schmoozy, stupid stuff, meaningful, real living stuff. Because right now we're disgracing what the idea of God is, but not God itself, because God, God's like, my children can ruin any, any universe they want. It's not like it's going to ever end. You know how many times we've done this? <laughs> Infinite. You don't know what that really means until you felt it. When you can sit on the ground and look down and realize that you're sitting on top of the whole universe. You are. Are you not? Everyone else is. Just from the other side. Gravity is either holding them up or holding them down if we have that metaphorical round world. But somehow we're all being held in place and so is the water and a big ball. But if it was flat, where would it spill? How would it end? It wouldn't work that way either. It's all just words. There's no shape to the universe. Dude. <laughs> How could there be a shape 
The universe isn't curved. The universe isn't rounded. The universe doesn't have a slope. This is all just light and sound dancing in nothingness, but becoming somethingness. The sum of one. All is one and all is God. Therefore, all is good. So start being good and you'll start resembling God.